Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan here. We are doing the problems on bank reconciliation statement. Already so many videos I have prepared on problems on BRS. So hope my regular students, my viewers, I have watched all the theory regarding introduction to BRS, lecture on BRS, then you have watched all the theory starting short problems on BRS and almost far four long main problems also we have solved. Now <coughs> I'm starting the next problem, problem number five. So if you're first time watching my video, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. I have uploaded a number of subjects videos. Select your subject like advanced accounting, financial accounting, cost accounting, corporate accounting, then uh, business statistics, financial management, investment management. So many subjects videos I've uploaded. Select your subject and watch the video. Enhance your knowledge. Now. Before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a hard copy of the problems which I have provided in the link. So keep ready the problems and start watching the video. Now I am starting the next problem that is problem number 5. Prepare the bank reconciliation statement from the following on 31st Jan 2013. So we are making the BRS on 31st January. 2013. Bank balance as per cash book 16,500. Our starting point is bank balance as per cash book. So I have taken here bank balance as per cash book 16,500. So few items will be added, few items will be deducted. Ultimately, we'll arrive at bank balance as per passbook. So starting point cash book, ending point passbook. This balance we have to find out. The cash book balance is given. Now we'll decide each and every item. Now see the second item, carefully you see the second item given, checks amounting to rupees 4000 were issued on 28th Jan out of which checks amounting to 2400 were presented for payment in February 2013. We are making the BRS on 31st January 2013. We have issued the checks before 31st Jan. But out of the total 4,000 checks, 2,400 checks were presented for payment in the month of February. That means on 31st January, these checks were not presented for payment. Not presented for payment. Totally 4,000 rupees worth of checks we have issued. Out of 4,000, 2,400 worth of checks were presented for payment in the month of February. On 31st March, Oh, sorry, 31st Jan, these checks were not present. When we issue the check, we record in the cash book. The cash book balance will decrease when we issue the check. But passbook balance still will show more balance because the checks are not presented for payment up to 31st Jan. Our starting point is cash book. It is showing less balance. So we have to add. So how much checks were presented in the month of February? 2400. 2400 worth of checks were presented in February. So on 31st January it was not presented. So we add the so additional items. Check issued. Checks issued but not presented for payment up to 31st Jan up to 31st January how much 2400 so second item we have completed the second item regarding check issued but not presented for payment now third item checks amounting to rupees 9000 were deposited for collection these are the checks which are deposited in the bank for collection but check for rupees 3000 have not yet been collected by the bank we have deposited 9,000 rupees worth of checks in the bank. The banker informs that 3,000 worth of checks were not yet collected by the bank. So before depositing, at the time of depositing the check in the bank, we record in the cash book. The cash book will increase. We are depositing the checks in the bank. So before depositing, we record in the cash book. The cash book balance will increase. Passbook balance still showing less balance because the checks are not collected by the bank right now our starting point is cash book it is showing more balance so we have to deduct less 
How much less? How much checks were not collected? 3000 worth of checks are not collected. The deduction less checks deposited. but not collected but not collected by bank how much 3000 that's all third item completed now you see the fourth item a wrong debit of rupees 400 appears in the passbook a wrong debit of rupees 400 appears in the passbook when passbook is debited passbook balance will come down when passbook is debited, passbook balance will come down. Cash book balance still more balance because there is a wrong debit given in the passbook. Wrong debit given in the passbook. So our cash book shows more balance. So we have to deduct less. How much amount? 400. So 400 amount less. So deduction may come here. Wrong debit found in passbook wrong debit found in passbook that is 400 come on four items we have completed now fifth item bank charges rupees 10 were entered twice in the cash book by oversight bank charges 10 rupees were recorded twice in the cash book so actually bank charges will be taken on the credit side of the cash book by taking bank charges, the cash book balance will decrease. So instead of taking once, we have taken twice bank charges in the cash book by mistake. So cash book balance have decreased. Instead of taking one time, we have taken twice bank charges two times on credit side of the cash book. So cash book balance will decrease. Passbook balance will show more balance. Our starting point is cash book only. It is showing less balance, so we have to add. How much amount bank charges? 10 rupees. So we have to add 10 rupees to the cash book balance. Here I am adding up bank charges entered twice in cash book. 10 rupees. That's all. So we have completed five points now sixth point you see check issued to a supplier for rupees 700 was not entered in the cash book check of rupees 700 issued to a supplier when we issue the check we should have record in the cash book by mistake we have not recorded in the cash book we are issuing the check but we have not recorded in the cash book so cash book balance will show more when check issue kare to cash book ke balance kam hona chahiye kam nahi hua we have not recorded in the cash book the cash book is showing more balance passbook is showing less balance because the check amount has been collected from the bank so cash book balance more so our starting point is cash book it is showing more balance so what we have to do deduct how much we have to deduct 700 rupees 700 rupees is the value of the check so deduction mein aaye Third, check issued but not recorded in cash book. Check issued but not recorded in cash book. 700. Next item, point number 7. Seventh point. Now, see carefully, seventh point. Interest on investment collected by the bank 1000 was not recorded in the cash book. Interest on investment collected by the bank. Collected by the bank. So passbook balance will increase. Banker has collected the interest on investment. But this is not recorded in the cash book. So cash book amount is showing less balance. Our starting point is cash book balance. So it is showing less amount. So what we have to do? We have to add how much interest on investment 1000 so 1000 rupees should be added so here I am writing interest on investment 
credited only in passbook credited only in passbook how much 1000 come on seventh item we have completed now eighth item eighth item see carefully check for rupees 1250 issued to khanna was wrongly entered twice on the debit side of cash book wow it's a big blunder check of rupees 1250 issued to khanna when we issued the check it should be recorded on the credit side of the cash book when we issue the check the entry will be khanna account data to bank so cash book ko create karna hai by khanna how much check has been issued 1250 but the accountant by mistake he has taken on the debit side so instead of taking on the credit side he has taken on debit side and that too he has taken twice that means 1250 1250 2500 on debit side we have taken so by taking the amount on debit side the cash book balance will increase cash book balance will increase so two mistakes he has committed the first mistake 1250 should have been taken on the credit side that is not taken that is not taken secondly by mistake two times we have taken on debit side so totally three mistakes are one 1250 which had we should have been created that was not taken by mistake debit side twice 1250 1250 so you add up 1250 plus 1250 plus 1250 3750 so our cash book balance is more by rupees 3750 by mistake 2500 we have taken on debit side and by mistake 1250 we have not taken on the credit side we have not taken on the credit side so total difference it will make 3750 1250 plus 1250 plus 1250 right so our cash book balance is showing more by 3750 cash book balance is showing more by rupees 3750 whereas passbook balance less because there is no mistake in the passbook mistake is there only in the cash book instead of taking on credit side by mistake double debit side so our starting point cash book it is showing more balance so subtract Fourth, check issued rupees one thousand two fifty by mistake taken twice on debit side. So three thousand seven fifty is the total amount. One thousand two fifty plus one thousand two fifty plus one thousand two fifty. Totally 3750 is the total difference. Next one. Passbook showed a debit of rupees 175 insurance premium. Passbook showed a debit of rupees 175 insurance premium. The banker has paid insurance premium 175. 175. The so passbook balance will decrease. Passbook balance will decrease. Cash book balance increase. More amount. So we have to deduct. So here deduction item. So passbook less, cash book more. So deduct. Uh, what is that? Insurance premium. Insurance premium debited in passbook only. How much? 175. Similarly, last and final item. And a credit of rupees 35 as interest for which no entries were found in the cash book. There's a credit of rupees 35 interest in the passbook. 35 rupees interest credited in the passbook. So passbook balance will be more. Passbook is credited 35 rupees for interest. Passbook more. Cash book less. Our starting point is cash book. So we have to add. 35 rupees we have to add. So addition item. Interest credited only in passbook 35 that's all
so many items so many points are there now we take the total 2400 plus 10 plus 1000 plus 35 the total is 3445 now we add up plus 16500 it comes to 19945 now subtract items 3000 plus 400 plus 700 plus 3750 plus 175 8025 now we subtract 19,945 minus 8025 it comes to 11,920 that's all this is the bank balance as per passbook 11,920 that's right so this is the complete explanation of problem number 5 now see the problem number 6 I am reading out problem number 6 on 31st March a merchant compared his passbook with his cash book and found the following differences now last sentence it is given the merchants cash book disclosed a debit balance of rupees 7579 on 31st March the so starting point is given bank balance as per cash book cash book is showing a debit balance means it's a favorable balance cash book debit side debit balance is a favorable balance so favorable balance 7579 Prepare BRS. The solution will be like this. BRS as on 31st March. Bank balance as per cash book. 7579. Now we will take one by one. What is the first item? The very first item says. Checks amounting to rupees 2500 were paid in on 27th March. Remember we are making the BRS on 31st March. So checks amounting to 2500 were paid in on 27th March. Out of which. Checks of the value of 800 were credited in the passbook on 4th April. Actually, we are making the BRS on 31st March. We have deposited 2500 worth of checks in the bank. The banker has informed that one check for rupees 800 was collected on 4th April. Means up to 31st March, this check was not collected. Remaining checks are collected. Remaining checks are collected. We have deposited 2500. All the checks are collected except one. That is 800. So when checks are deposited, first we record in the cash book. So cash book balance will increase. Before depositing the check in the bank, we record in the cash book. Cash balance will increase. Passbook balance still show low balance because the banker has not collected. Our starting point is cash book. It is showing more balance. So we subtract less. So what is the value of check not collected? Not collected is 800. So here I am writing less. Check deposited but not collected up to 31st March. How much? 800 rupees. Come on, first item completed. Now, see the second item. What is the second item says? Checks totaling 4000 were issued during the month of March, out of which checks of the value of 900 were debited in the passbook after 31st March, just like the previous point. 4000 worth of checks were issued during the month of March. All the checks are presented except one check which is not presented up to 31st March it is presented after 31st March how much 900 so out of 4000 one check 900 was presented after 31st March right when we issue the check first we record in the cash book so cash book balance will decrease when we issue the check we record in the cash book cash book balance will decrease passbook balance still show more balance our starting point is cash book only it is showing less it is showing less amount so we add how much we have to add 900 rupees so addition may I first one check dip, check issued but not presented for payment up to 31st march up to 31st March, how much? 
900 rupees next one there was a debit of rupees 20 for bank charges in the passbook there was a debit of rupees 20 for bank charges in the passbook the passbook balance will decrease passbook balance will decrease right cash book balance is showing more not recorded in cash book our starting point is cash book it is showing more amount so less 20 20 rupees is the bank charges so subtract bank charges debited in passbook only 20 rupees over now there was a credit of rupees 50 in the passbook for interest on customer account there was a credit in the passbook the passbook balance will increase passbook balance will increase because there is a credit in the passbook cash book balance less so we have to add how much is the interest 50 rupees add 50 so interest credited in passbook only how much interest 50 rupees that's all next an entry of rupees 100 of a payment by the customer directly into the bank appears in passbook in passbook there is an entry that a customer directly deposited in the bank so passbook will show more direct deposit by customer in the bank passbook more cash book less our starting point is cash book it is showing less amount so we have to add how much 100 rupees to add 100 rupees direct deposit by customer in bank direct deposit by customer in bank 100 rupees that's all. this one over next after that sixth one bank column bank column on the payment side of the cash book was found to overcast by rupees 1000 bank column of the cash book payment side was overcast overcast means over added the 1000 rupees over added on the credit side of the cash book so what will happen cash book balance will come down because we have taken more payment so credit side we have taken more amount it is overcast so cash book balance less passbook balance more our starting point is cash book it is showing less balance so we have to add how much is the amount overcast 1000 so here add 1000 here i am writing payment side payment side of cash book overcast how much 1000 next interest on investment amounting to rupees 200 collected by the bank appears in passbook interest on investment collected by bank the passbook will show more cash book will show less because it is not recorded in the cash book the cash book is the starting point how much is the interest 200 it is showing less so we have to add 200 here addition point interest on investment credited in passbook only how much is the interest on investment 200 next last and final point insurance premium of rupees 300 paid by the bank on behalf of the customer chat appeared in the passbook the banker has paid interest uh, insurance premium so when the banker has paid it will debit passbook it will debit the passbook the passbook balance less cash book balance more because it is not recorded in the cash book so cash book our starting point is the cash book it is showing more balance so less so how much 300 rupees is the insurance premium so we have to subtract so subtract insurance premium insurance premium debited in passbook only debited in passbook only 300 that's all we have taken all the items 
Now ultimately we have to find out what is the balance as per passbook. So additional items are 900 plus 50 plus 100 plus 1000 plus 200. 2250 plus 7579 so it comes to 9829 so 800 plus 20 plus 300 1120 so 9829 minus 1120 you'll get 8709 8709 is the bank balance as per passbook. That's all. So each and every point I have explained. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share it in your group. Give your special comments. I'm waiting for the comments. Whether you can be able to understand or not. And uh, subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed. We'll continue this in the next video. The next problem.